Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, gonna show you how to remove the background of any video using AI and for free. That's right, this is a free tool right now and I'm gonna show you step by step how to do it. Now here we go, we've got this uh, boxer dog here with sunglasses on just chilling like a villain. And then we've got this strange little AI stuff in the background. As you can imagine, this was not the original video. The original video is this one right here of the bulldog, or pardon me, of the boxer. And there he is doing his boxer thing. And then I took out the background and I put in that crazy background just to show you the technique. So with all that said, let's start from scratch, go back to projects. First thing, it is on runwayml.com. I'll put a link in the description below, but it's a free tool. You get up to three projects and it renders out free, although it's only in 720p at the moment. So keep that in the back of your mind. It's high definition, but not super high definition. All right, here we go. The first step is you wanna go here and we're gonna go to the AI magic tools. You don't wanna click on new project, you wanna click on AI magic tools. When you do that, you get a whole bunch of stuff that you can do. I'm gonna go down here near to the bottom and you'll see one that says replace background. This is what we want, click on it. And presto, it's gonna load up some assets here and we're gonna get a timeline and all that fancy stuff. Now, the next step is if you don't have the footage already loaded, you wanna to go to your finder and then we're gonna to go to, I think we're in the movies and then drag and drop in the movie that you want. So in this case, I would take this bulldog or the boxer part of me and just drag and drop him in there. That said, I have already done it, so it's already loaded here, but that is the step if you're following along and you can see it's uploading. The next step, I'm gonna click on it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click over here and go add to timeline. Presto, it loads the doggy up and this is the video that we're using, but you can follow along with any video of your choice. Now on the right side here, you're gonna see click an area to start masking. So I am going to just click and it basically adds points and then in a few split seconds, you'll see that it just sort of blasts out the point. So this did a very good job, but it missed top of the puppy's melon. So I'm gonna add a point here and it's looking pretty good. And maybe I'll just add one down here just so there's, you know, doesn't get any mistakes later on in the video. Now, you will notice if you are very, very eagle-eyed that there is a little bit of a gap between the ear and the body here at this at the first frame. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm gonna click on this refine, and then you're gonna see here that when I click on the brush here, that I can go ahead and increase or decrease the size of the brush, and I can kind of brush that out. So this is an advanced technique. You may not have to do it, but I'll show you anyway. I've decreased the brush size to about five here, and then you'll see I've got this little tiny brush and I'm just gonna go in there and brush. And actually, I'm going to switch it from include to exclude. You can include things if you have something over here that you wanna include, and you can exclude things. So I'm gonna switch it to exclude, and off we go. I'm just gonna take out that little bit and piece. Oh, I did a little bit too much there, so I'm gonna switch back to include. And here we go. This is just fine tuning it, something like that. Now, once we've got a general feel for it, I'm gonna click on preview, and we're gonna see what we get. So here it goes, it's loading it up, and now it's gonna tell me what we masked out and how we're doing. So a quick look at this. This looks pretty good, actually. It's done a pretty good job. You know what, if you need to refine a little more here in the edge, you can go ahead and do that, but I showed you the technique. I just wanna get this going to show you how it's done. So once you're happy with it, and this is pretty good, you can now go here, move the playhead to the beginning, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on Replace Background. And when you do that, you're gonna get back shot into a timeline here. And now the first step before you start changing things is you actually wanna take this video, this image here or this video and move it up to video track two. It's very important because the background is gonna go on the lower layer and you generally always want that at the bottom. So I've moved this up to track two. Now we can go ahead and add in another video or a still shot or a color. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna load in, I would load in uh, one of these cool videos that I found here. So I've got this one here that I drag and dropped in earlier. This is like some sort of weird AI creature. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna move it to video track one right there. And, oh, I missed, I missed it. I gotta go to video track one, sorry about that. There we go. And then I'm just gonna move it to the beginning. And now watch, we've got our cool cucumber puppy dog doing his or her thing on top of that cool background. Remember, you can always move things. So if I wanted to, oops, I'll click out of that. If I wanna move the old pupperoo over here, for example, I can go ahead and do that and I can just double click on it and I can decrease the increase the size, et cetera, et cetera. Standard stuff that you would get in any video editor. But that's how you remove a background. And when you're done, just click on export and it's free to go. Thanks for watching.